Let's take a look at how to set up Find Me, Follow Me. Under the Shortel orange S in the left upper corner of your call manager, if you click on that, uh, go down to Options, you will find an entry for Find Me. Clicking on Find Me will bring up a fill in the form, uh, and here is where we will establish the Find Me, Follow Me sequence. So how this works is I can uh, type a number in here. Generally, if it's in my Microsoft Outlook, it's, um, it's going to bring that up. Or I could just type a number. You set the number of rings. Uh, I recommend probably five, just to give the call time to set up and ring your cell phone. You can actually add a second telephone number to the list. So um, how this is going to work is when someone comes into your mailbox and if your call handling mode has enabled call find me, your greeting will say, hi, this is me, I'm not here. If you'd like to return to the auto attendant, dial nine to speak to another member of the team, press zero, or if it's an emergency, press one and the system will attempt to locate me. At that point, the system will place the caller on hold and it will dial this first number. It will ring that number five times. If you don't answer, it will continue to the second number. And at that point, when you answer, uh, you will hear a greeting from the Shortel voicemail system that says that you have a phone call and you must press one to accept. Uh, the system requires you to explicitly ac accept a phone call. You press one to accept the call, two to reject, three to hear the caller ID. And if you press one, you will get the call. There are some options here that you may want to know about. For example, send incoming caller ID. When your cell phone rings, if this is checked, you're going to see the caller ID of the person calling you. This feature, enable find me for incoming calls before playing greeting, is for those of you out there who are always away from your desk, you're never at your desk, you want all calls to go to your cell phone. Keep in mind, we're not giving our cell phone out publicly, we're putting it here in the um, Find Me, Follow Me section. So how this works, the call comes in, it goes immediately to your first location, uh, then your second location if you have it, and then it will play the greeting. Keep in mind, if you use this, you don't want your greeting to say, press one to find me, follow me, because the system has already attempted to locate you prior to playing your greeting. So make sure you correct your greeting. Lastly, enable record caller's name for find me. What this means is that if someone comes into your voicemail system, here's your greeting, and they press one for find me, follow me. If you have this enabled, the system will say to the caller, the person you are calling requests your name and they will speak their name and when the system connects the call to you and says you have a call from it will play back the caller's name as recorded by that by the person placing the phone call so find me follow me is very 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 powerful there are many options here uh, play with this uh, generally most people don't have a list of two you're going to put your cell phone up here let it ring five times. It takes a little while to set up the call. The goal here is that all your messages are at the company voicemail. They're not in your cell phone. Remember, you have to press one and explicitly accept the phone call for the system uh, to connect the caller. So it's, it's just not going to allow uh, a call to go to your cell phone uh, voicemail. Lastly, uh, you're able to make yourself available by cell phone without publicly giving out your cell phone number. So I hope you found that informative and I thank you for watching. One last place I want to take you with respect to your Shortel call manager is how to change the log in. Uh, this is something only a system administrator would be involved with, but keep in mind that this uh, call manager runs on your uh, Windows PC, 
and it does log into the Shortel call manager. And from time to time, employees uh, are changed out, and new people come in. And rather than reinstall uh, the call manager, you may just want to change the login. So if you go under the super orange S, go down to options, you will find an option called telephony. Clicking on telephony, you will see that you need to enter the server name. Generally speaking, this will be an IP address that you should get from your system administrator. The username. In many instances, this will be the same as your extension number, but some system deployments actually put a username here. Uh, you're going to want to change that to the username of the person associated with this call manager. You're going to click on passwords. The default password in a deployment is change me, C-H-A-N-G-E-M-E. -E. And you might just go ahead and keep that change me to make system administration a little easier uh, moving down the road. There are some options here about uh, the maximum number of calls to show. Currently set at eight. You'll recall that back over here on the call manager, we could get um, several active telephone calls. Um, the number of telephone calls I could receive is actually set by this option here. And lastly, if I'm using a headset, I might want to check this box, which suppresses dial tone when I'm in the off hook mode, uh, which is typically what you'll be in if you're using a headset. So the takeaway from this screen is this is where I go to change uh, username, password, login, as well as set up some options about dial tone and headset usage.